Humans. Sorry if I seem under the weather. I'm actually sick right now and it's kind of cold outside so that's why. But anyways today I'm going to show you guys how to create this bronzy plummy makeup look that I made for autumn. I know I featured purple in the last two tutorials but I really like the color and if you guys want to see tutorials on other eyeshadow colors or lip color or whatnot just comment down below and I will try to get to you guys. So anyways if you want to know how to get this look please keep on watching. Start off with a bare face and apply face primer to protect your face from the foundation and make it last a lot longer. For autumn, I like to use the foundation that is a bit more hydrating because my skin is going to start looking very dry. So apply the foundation evenly on your face and afterwards use some concealer to conceal your dark circles, redness, and any blemishes that you may have. And then set it all with some powder. I'm using a pressed powder in a pressing and dabbing motion. Next, fill in your eyebrows. I'm not particularly good at filling in eyebrows, so excuse the mess. But anyways, just fill it in, creating hair-like marks, and then set it with some brow gel to keep the hairs in place. Next, apply primer. Use a gold cream eyeshadow for primer if you have one. Next, I'm going to use the Start Eyeshadow Palette and taking this matte vanilla shade, apply this on the brow bone as highlight, blending into the crease. Next, taking this matte warm brown shade, apply this around the crease in window wiper motion, blending into the gold. After you're happy with the shape, apply this bronze eyeshadow to the outer V of your eyes. Pat it on first and then load up the intensity little by little. And then use the clean fluffy brush to blend. Take a gold eyeshadow and pat this onto the inner corner and to the rest of your lids to set the gold cream eyeshadow. Using a purple eyeliner, line the outer third of your lower lash line and waterline and the outer third of your upper lash line creating a subtle wing. Then taking a dark plum or purple eyeshadow, Apply this on top of the purple liner to smoke it out. Create a cat eye shape. I'm taking this frosty shape just to brighten the tear duct for a doe eye effect. Rim the upper waterline with a black eyeliner and then curl your lashes. I'm going to first prime my eyelashes using lash primer from Tarte. And while that is drying, I'm going to line my upper lash line using this dark purple liquid liner. Create a thin line with a subtle wing. Then, apply your mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Now that the eyes are finished, we can move on to the face. Since in autumn, I usually look a lot paler, I like to use a bronzer that is preferably matte to contour my face. And then, a matte warm blush to the apples of the cheek for a subtle hint of glow. And highlighter to the tops of the cheek because you still want to look healthy. For the lips, just finish off with any peachy color that you like. I'm finishing off with this gorgeous beanie and now the look is complete. I'm sorry if this tutorial seems a little bit impromptu. I just got inspired in the moment. Hope you guys liked it. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you do, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below any questions or video requests. For a list of all the products used, extra photos, and tips, go to my blog, delaniamarfella.blogspot.com, link below. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They're all, all delaniamarfella, link down below as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!